contrast to last year's video where I'm all dressed up with glittery eyeshadow and a velvet top to this year where I've got my old jumper on with a dirty mark down the front. <laughs> So it is New Year's Eve 2020. A lot of us are going to be very glad to see the back of this year. I know I am. It's been the year of the pandemic, but I thought I would sit down and reflect on the year, see if I've achieved the goals I set for myself this time last year, and also set some new goals for myself for the coming year. And before we get into it, give the video a like. Thanks guys. I set myself 10 goals last year and there has been a mixed bag really of successes and failures. To be honest though, I'm just proud of myself for getting through the year. Coping with a pandemic that no one saw coming didn't even cross my mind this time last year. It's not easy, you know? So pat on the back for getting through the year. Give yourselves a pat on the back too. Basically, I'm going easy on myself where I haven't achieved exactly what I set out to do in 2020. Corona just derailed a lot of my plans and that was out of my control. Okay, so let's look at the first goal I set. So my number one goal for this year is to get a 2-1 in my degree. Hell yeah, I achieved this one. I got the 2-1 and honestly, this was the goal I cared about the most for 2020. It feels good to have achieved my top goal. I don't think it's sunk in yet. This goal was achieved by hard work. I didn't just snap my fingers and get a 2-1. I worked my socks off for that 2-1 and I think achieving this goal just shows that I maintained a high work ethic throughout the year. My second goal is to go for a run or go to the gym at least once a week. So admittedly I wasn't consistent throughout the whole year of going for a run or going to the gym but I had bursts where I was sticking to this. At the start of the year when I was still at uni I was going to the gym in college. That's unheard of for me. I had never been to the college gym properly before and I was going to that gym and doing weight sessions. I was doing squats with weights. Then obviously I was sent home from uni so I lost access to the free gym so I stopped doing weight stuff but I did do a lot of Zumba workouts in the garden and I was going for the occasional run but yeah as summer came to an end <laughs> I just stopped exercising. I don't think I can say that I've hit this goal because the second half of the year didn't happen, did it? My third goal is to read at least 10 books this year. I did achieve this goal. I read 10 books on the dot, so I only just achieved it and I still don't think I'm reading enough. I want to up it next year, but it's a good start. I have found though that I'm getting increasingly picky with the books I read. I wouldn't say any of the books I read this year really wowed me. None of them made me think, oh my God, this was an amazing read. How gripping was this? Maybe I'm just reading the wrong books. I just found that I was dragging myself through so many of them. I have been given quite a number of new books for Christmas, which I'm excited to read. And I'm hoping to share more of what I'm reading with you guys next year. If any of you have any book recommendations, please leave them in the comments below. I am looking for gripping, exciting novels. So my fourth goal is to learn to cook better. <laughs> so I'm gonna admit that I failed on this one and I have no excuse, honestly. I've been living with my parents since March and it's just been too easy to just eat my mum's cooking. At the start of the year, I did cook a spaghetti bolognese while I was still at uni and that was a minor success, I think. I am still pretty clueless in the kitchen though and I have not made a concerted effort to fix that this year. Don't be like me, basically. I am eventually gonna learn to cook better. It is gonna happen. I think it just might take me moving out and being forced into a situation where I have to cook nicely for myself so I don't go hungry for me to actually do it. Leading on from that, my fifth goal is also food related and it's to go for the vegetarian option more. So I didn't really achieve this one. At the start of the year, when I was going to the college cafeteria and I was still at university, I was doing it. Majority of the time, I was going for the vegetarian option. However, since I've been home, as I said, I haven't exactly been cooking for myself. I've been eating my mum's cooking and I've just been fitting around what my parents like to eat 
and that is mostly neat. It's still something I feel quite strongly about and five years down the line, I really want my meat intake to be vastly reduced. I think I'll probably renew my efforts on this one again when I move out. Because when I'm living alone, I'll have more freedom to decide my food. Goal number six is to reach 200,000 subscribers on YouTube. So admittedly, we didn't make it to 200K, but let's just pause a second and think about the fact that we've made it to 190,000 subscribers. That is crazy. And I will take 190K any day. I am so grateful for all of you who've subscribed. I'm so grateful for every comment you leave, every like you leave. You guys watching my videos just means so much. I feel like I'm going through life with all of you guys. We're studying alongside each other. We're working alongside each other. I just can't believe that so many people take time out of their days to watch my videos. So thank you very much for that. And to be honest, if any of you guys watching right now aren't subscribed, then you could probably help me out with this goal and subscribe now. My seventh goal is to pass my OBS test. I did manage this one. So I passed my OBS test in early 2020 and it's a test that allows you to use the refractor telescopes at the Institute of Astronomy in Cambridge. These are pretty big telescopes with a lot of history behind them. So it was so exciting to get the opportunity to operate them. Ironically, I never actually got the chance to use them by myself because COVID sent me packing from uni. And I think the telescopes have actually been closed since March now. So it's quite sad they're not getting any use at the moment. Oh, well, at least I've now got my astro binoculars, which I can take down the end of the road. <laughs> Goal number eight is to stress less. I think I did manage this one. I was definitely still stressed at times when my exams were happening, but a lot less so than in previous years. And that's what counts. I think I've matured this year and I've got a much healthier outlook now on grades and exams. And also a pandemic has really helped put things into perspective. I think I stressed more about what I wanted to do next and my next steps after university than I did about exams. And since graduating, guys, literally my stress about work has disappeared. I do not feel stressed at all about my new job and my new work. And it's just, oh, it's so refreshing. Goal number nine is to travel somewhere. Do I even need to tell you guys whether I achieved this one? Obviously, this wasn't going to happen. Covid just screwed over all my travel plans and what can you do? It happened to so many of us this year. Hopefully, I'll get to have my adventure at some point in the future. And my final goal, number 10, is to improve my coding skills. Yup! I have dabbled in MATLAB, Python, VBA, PowerShell, probably more this year and I'm learning R very soon, so I've come a long way. I'm by no means an expert in coding, but I've improved from the point I was at last year. Those final year computing projects I did for my degree were seriously a blessing in disguise. They were stressful at the time, but I've come on leaps and bounds in my coding skills and my ability to debug code through those projects. So that was my 2020 goals. Going into 2021, I am a lot more cautious. All I want for the coming year is for us to kick this pandemic's butt and to be reunited with all my family and friends. For my goals, I'm going to cut down on the number of goals and make sure they're really realistic. I'm not putting a huge pressure on myself to hit them because we're still living through a really weird time. But I think it's still good to set them because they'll act as quite a good distraction from depressing news and just keep me focused on things I enjoy. Okay, so goal number one for 2021 is to pass my first two actuarial exams in April. I am taking a statistics module and a business finance module, and I'd really like to pass both first time. Really, it's just going to be a case of knuckling down, doing that revision. It is going to get busy because I'm going to be working a full-time job alongside sitting these exams. So hopefully I can pull it off. I just want to keep my eye on the ball and put the same effort into my academic work that I always have. My second goal for 2021 is to drive on motorways. So I passed my driving test when I was 18, but four years later, I have still not driven on a motorway. I have a fear of them. In fact, I have a fear of driving. 
and that's not okay it's irrational and i don't want to keep making excuses for myself as to why i can't drive here or why i need a lift here sure there's risks with driving but there's risks with everything we do in life and i feel like my fear of driving is holding me back my third goal for 2021 is to move out as I've mentioned previously, I'm living with my parents at the moment, but it's not something I want to be doing long term. I've been saying for months that I'm really looking forward to eventually moving out and I just want to make it happen. There's going to be a lot of planning, research, organising that goes into moving out and finding the ideal place to live and I just need to get on with that and I think it will make me a lot happier. My fourth goal is to maintain a daily skincare routine. So I'm wearing makeup right now, but honestly guys, my skin has been awful this year. I've had so many breakouts. I don't know what's triggered it. My skin has always been very clear in the past. So it's been a bit of a shock. And in the past, I've been sometimes a bit lazy. You know, when it gets to the evening and you're tired and you're like, oh, is this really necessary? This two-step routine, this three-step routine. But for me at the moment, it definitely is and I need to make sure that I'm caring for my skin in the best way so I really want to stick to that. My fifth and final goal for 2021 is to take regular exercise. I'm carrying this one forward from 2020 because I'm so disappointed in myself in my performance in 2020. It was all going so well until the end of the year and I just stopped exercising. Exercise is necessary for a healthy lifestyle. I don't care what sort of exercise I do, whether it's running, Zumba, cycling, doing some weights, once per week, minimum, I need to be exercising. Alongside these five specific goals, I'm setting myself some overarching resolutions, which are really applicable every single year. In 2021, I want to take every opportunity that comes my way. And also, I want to keep pushing myself out of my comfort zone on a regular basis. I know that pushing myself out of my comfort zone is not always enjoyable in the moment, but afterwards, I feel so, so proud of myself. If you guys have set any goals or resolutions for yourself for 2021, comment them down below. Here's hoping 2021 is better than 2020. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Help me hit 200k. Follow my Instagram. I'll leave a link in the description. And thank you for watching, guys. Have a happy new year.